All right, so now we are going to talk about outputting information to the council. So we've already done this a bit. Um, every time we use this print statement, we are effectively printing information um, from the script back into the console for, we, for us to be able to see it. So this print function um, you should be pretty used to right now, um, but there is, a there is a tiny modification of this that uh, you need to be able to understand. So the way a program takes information in is often called the standard input. Um, so this can be information from the keyboard. When we use that input function, it's able to take in whatever we type into the program, and that's called the standard input. But there's actually two different ways we can output information from uh, a program. One of them is called standard output, and that normally gets sent to the screen. And then the other is what's called standard error. And again, that's normally um, sent to the screen. So let's save a new file called print demonstration. And we are just going to print this info is printed to the console. So this info is printed to the console. So let's say we wanted to um, not just have this printed to the console, but let's say we wanted to have this actually saved in a file. And so we can do this by a technique called redirecting. So what this greater than sign after we run our program says is to redirect the output, the standard output to someplace else and to a file. And so if we run it like this, we no longer get this information printed to the screen. And that's because we've redirected the standard output from the screen into this file called info.txt. And we see that if we look into the um, info.txt, we see that this now has that text information within it. Let's try to run this again and um, and it looks like there is a actually a change between how ZSH runs and how Bash runs. Um, so one of the differences, if, if you're running Bash, you might find that Bash does not allow you to overwrite the file, um, but it looks like the default for ZSH is not that. Um, in Bash, if you want to force overwrite, you simply add the pipe afterwards, and this also works in the ZSH, um, so that force overwrites um, the file. Um, you can also append to a file, so the difference between append and, and write is that this replaces the, the file with whatever is printed in the script, where this just adds another line um, to the end of it. So you notice now that there's two lines of this info is printed to the con console. And if we run this, you know, three, four, or five more times, each time we run that, info.txt has an additional line. And then as soon as we change it back to the this right here, uh, we overwrite the file so there's only one line within it. Um, let's say we made an error so let's say I make a print statement like this so this info is an error and so I do a string and I try to append the number two and so you know you cannot use the addition operator between a string object and an integer object and so we're going to get an error when we try to do that so what happens when we run the program So this is printed, um, this info is printed to the console, but this is not printed because we get an error and so an exception is thrown and so this business is actually printed to our screen to let us know that we made a mistake. But what is interesting is that when you redirect, um, you notice that this 
info right here that is printed to the console. This is no longer printed to the screen. And in fact, if we look in info.txt, that it's printed there. Um, and just to make sure that it's new, this is this is new info is printed to the console. So if we rerun this again um, and we look at info.txt, we see this is new info. So what is happening is this print statement is being redirected to the file, but this error is not. And so this is kind of the reason that the program has two different paths that it can take. It, e it can either take things and send it to the standard output or it can send it to the standard error. And so this print statement right here goes to the standard output, where this print statement, because it would normally go to the standard output, but the error naturally goes to the standard error. Um, so you can also, for example, redirect the information from the standard error um, to a file as well. And so that is done by appending a two, having a two in front of the greater than signs. And so what we have done right here, we said take all of the standard output and send it to this file, take all of the standard error and send it to this file right here. And so now we see all of that information is stored there. Uh, maybe we want to control where we print things. And so we can do that using this sys module. Um, the sys module is something you'll get used to using. It has all sorts of in, in, interesting and, and useful things. Um, but one of the things you can do is you can actually um, specify if you want to send it to the standard out or the standard error. So it takes this optional argument called file. And so this optional argument takes either the standard out, so you, you pre-append it with sys, and this says send this information to standard out, send this information to standard error. So now if we run this print demonstration, um, I forgot to save it, now if we run this print demonstration, we get this line printed right here, and we get this line printed right here. If we try to save this, to a text file, we'll notice that this information right here, that is sent to that text file. Um, but this one right here is not actually sent to that, and that's because we sent this to the standard error. Um, but if we did this, you know, we keep the standard output, and now the, the uh, standard error is redirected to that file. Okay, so we went over the basics of, of output to the console. So the important thing to remember is that a program has two main ASP areas to send. They can either send it to the standard output or the standard error. You can specify that within the print statement using this optional file argument, and then you can redirect that information, that standard output or standard error to a text file um, by using this append uh, operator.